All right, we're back. We're back. What was I doing? Well, right now I'm on top of my wire here. Wait one second. There we go. All right. Hey, how are you? Uh, who's hanging out with Rotten today? Oh, Morgan. Okay. A putrid, moth-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find. Yeah, I'd put my head in those uh, unmentionables myself. Dirty Mungle can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. Yes. I, I always wondered why we have back. these interactions with the dog. <laughs> Doesn't really do anything. <laughs> he is certainly manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. By the way, if you've seen the trailers and such of the new Dragon Age Inquisition, what you'll you notice need? that Morgan's wearing a different Ask away. outfit. Such as they are. That's a good question. There's Grey Warden away, talk. But who knows where, where are they? Found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. Where are we, we go in the grand scheme of things? Here, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Yeah, the we're trying to find out where all the great... I wonder where they actually went. I mean, you see a few of them in the future, but I wonder if they're going to play any role in Dragon Age Inquisition. But I've no idea how that really... You know, we have these two, we have... The one later on, we have the one in awa we have the few in Awakenings, but there's not really like a whole like slew of them. I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens. You know, it's not like you're just compounded with a bunch of Grey Wardens. I know they're not that many, but I would think there'd be more than like five. I'm sure that they'll open up the world in Dragon Age Inquisition, and maybe they'll we can get to the headquarters. But that, that would be interesting. Ferelden, and even if we did, they couldn't come back. Well, it's just amazing to me that Dragon Age Origins is about Grey Wardens, and so then after this, it's happens, like they don't exist. It's up to us. I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining. MJ. But I don't know how to do the joining, or what's involved. A lot of 808 going on with my friends, as you noticed really on Xbox there, Live. But that's it. Speaking of which, my friend uh, N7 Falco, otherwise known as Jaegerbomb, he uh, just put up a Krogan one, and I think uh, he put it up today. I think I saw him pull it off. <laughs> he went through about 10 waves as the Krogan Warlord in a Platinum solo without getting killed. So it wasn't uh, an N7 in Invader 1 perfect, but it was close enough. Close enough. <clears throat> I then they saw it was funny Lord because, <coughs> excuse me, again. <coughs> there we are. That's better. There's no way. Yeah. Well, I'm not going I saw anywhere. there was this one. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. There was this one uh, incident I had on need? Xbox Live when I was playing through the the yes. multiplayer. I am hardly surprised. And I like how Sten just gets Speak very impatient then. with you. <laughs> then I suggest we move on. <laughs> As you wish. Just not much to say. But uh, yeah, so there, w there was an incident, ah, if I, I will. I found some of the crystals that I told it about. And well uh, here done. goes Shell. So, and the incident it? was, whenever I look any wider, would go they? on, there, was a, there were a couple of people. It was like a, it a, it sounded like a really... It must be the it sounded like a really young woman and like a, a, a some like dude, maybe younger than me. And um, from ear to ear. I, so I did a multiplayer with them. We, we got through it. I then uh, would go on and they would be on again. I'd do a multiplayer again. Like we became like, we wish? added them as friends and I added one of their friends as friends and everything like that. And 
<laughs> you know, and, and it was <laughs> like, uh, you know, we played in a group and we got through a couple of them. And then like the next day I went on and I don't. It no matter. My mother oh, has hit on me, time huh? time, yes. You know, and, and, and um, fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. The, um, made a bit of a game of it, you know, so we got through it, and there was, the you know, we lost a couple, and then, like, I went on once with, like, a level three Volus, and we got through it and everything with just the young woman. I found the game and, um, I then one time it was both the of them again, and I went on, you know, and I, and I was in their level room, and I was using a level 12 was. human sentinel, was a warning, and I was getting shot down a lot, and we got to, like, and wave seven or whatever, and would use me as bait. I heard, like, them talking, because they had their mics on, I, I don't have my mic on Xbox Live, doesn't work, and I heard them talking, like, as though somebody shot their, their parents or something like that. And, you know, like, they were like, oh, that was just terrible. Like, they were just like, Mel so I sent a message to the, to the guy saying, you know, I'm sorry about my performance, you know, I'll do better or whatever. And they're like, yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, and then they just, like, dropped out of the room. And then I went to another room. I, I went, like, I, I went to look for another room, and I found theirs again, and then they, like, dropped out again or something like that. And... And uh, then I got a message from the young woman. It's like a long-winded message saying, it's nothing personal. I just, I don't like, I hate promoters. You know, I, if I'm going to run a solo, I'll do it on gold or something like that. Like, just going off on, like, how I had one bad game. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and it turned out that uh, on the PS3, she did a, uh, a, run, a solo run with a bolus. So, you know, some people take it way too far, but whatever. small favors then at the very least enough but, of this talk you know. let us return to the task at hand like some people are just you know i i i call myself a, a pro on it because i i, I kind of am technically yeah. a pro i mean <laughs> well <laughs> i, I sort of get paid for these videos i do what is meant by someone like me Did you think I was always no, I'm not going to be cruel to Liliana. Chantry provides succor. She is very sweet. Harbor to all we seek it. I chose to stay and become a friend. But yeah, I've, I've had a few of those little stories. I was a traveling minstrel in all A. Tell yeah, a lot of people have a problem with me when I play online. I mean, I only put on, you know, if I'm doing a project like this, I'll probably be playing about well, four and a half to five hours a day, which, yes? Yes, you know, considering I... Let's move I'm on. up about 18 hours a day, and in those 18 hours, I'll probably be working about 15 of them. <laughs> you know, that's that's a reasonable amount of time. About five hours a day. But some of these people, they put like fucking days worth into it. It's like, wow, you need to figure out something else to do. Anyway. That's my two cents. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ooh, I want to keep that, though. Keep that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Da, 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 da. Hey, you need... Do I need these? I don't think so. I keep forgetting that I have that blood dragon plate armor thing. Don't need any of this lyrium crap. I just don't use Lyrian Potion. Excuse me. It's like stam stamina raw. I just don't draw it. Whatever. I need one more Venom for that guy. I think that's what I need. I always forget. Uh, maybe this. Silver Chalice. Don't need that. Uh, let's get the loot. Just so I don't have to have that thing over his head. Oh, it's still there. God damn it. Oh, oh, that's for the pranks. Okay, so away we go. Let's get, let's get, to, what's next? Do I want to, yeah, let me bring it down. Even though she doesn't have good armor. Uh, Morgan. And do I want my doggy to be my only tank? Mm, 
Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. We did that. All right, so let me see. We don't want to go there yet. Not there yet. Not there. Not back there yet. Not there. Not there. So I think it's time for the circle. Oh, wait. Right, that's Soldier's Peak. Oh, actually, no, wait. It's this. Ban Norin. That's so many interesting uh, titles for each of these. Ban. Ar uh, Arl. Not Yarl. Arl. By the way, if you ever played... Um oh, yeah, this is the trip back to Alstagar. Okay, this is good. If you watch, then it's just, it just takes longer for that to happen. <laughs> That's all it is. Alright. Nah, nah, nah. I really want it. I'm going to keep saying it, but I really want to get... Something other than that cloister gown. Oh, shit. Those arrows are doing mighty good damage. Alright, get out of here. Uh, I didn't realize an archer could have so much health. Anyway, like I was saying, I, I might consider myself a professional because this is kind of what I do and I've been playing video games for a hundred thousand years, but... Some of these people just put way too much time into these video games. And they'll, they'll, you know, they'll nail you. I mean, today I was at level 12 and I was with an old friend. And by old friend, I mean somebody that I, I've seen on and, and played Platinums with. 800 ounce gorilla. And we did well, you know, it was just, it was him, somebody else and me and we were doing okay. And then a fourth party member came in and we, we kind of cleaned house. Thank you. So. I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You were there in Ostago. You know how yeah, this is another to... downloadable. Oh, th this will be the like last this, extra that I do, and I'm going to get on to the main we'll be hung as a thing. This is actually... You were there with the gray it's actually horns. pretty long. I'm hoping I can get through this in, the, in one sit. Down, because it's kind of long. He was my friend, understand? The only reason why it's long is because you fight so many darkspawn, but I wasn't supposed to reveal that to you, was I? Whoops, forget I said that. I know. Even had Logan's men not turn their backs I still have to pick up a win. I need a spiritual healer. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. He didn't get the chance. Duncan that was kind of a good thing he didn't give it to Duncan, right? Because uh, it wouldn't be here. Whatever his reason, it would be out in the battlefield. Entrusted it to. The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Lorin's hands by now. I was afraid. This is the only way you can return to Ostagar. Battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. I hope not. Would they know how to work the lock, even if they did? The keys behind a loose stone, at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. If you have any survivors of the battle among your companions, take them with you. Their memory of the terrain will serve you well. I'm only sorry I cannot. Yeah, I wonder if King Ke I mean, from what I know, Dragon Age Inquisition, you're going to go all over Thetis. Like, you're going to be everywhere. It's too powerful. Uh, I think. I mean, the whole idea is that you're trying to track down. And if you happen to find Kaylin's body, it's sort of like you got to take it. From what I've read, it's like you got to pick your side between mages, Templars, whatever, as you try to rebuild what was destroyed in Dragon Age 2. So, like I said, I think. It seems like Dragon Age 2 is a little bit more of a direct pre-prelude to Dragon Age Inquisition, whereas this one seems to stand on its own. So it's not like Mass Effect, where Mass Effect 1 
sort of gets retread in Mass Effect 2 because but it's still like you know it's it's still a, it's still here we go it's still a sequel to it you know this one just seems to be like hey this shit happened and then Dragon Age 2 is kind of like well that shit happened this shit happened and Dragon Age 2 is kind of like after that shit happened you know this other shit happened so, or what is, this, is going on it doesn't seem like it's because you, you you clean you fit you know you, you take care of the blight the blight's over you know and then suddenly it's like oh yeah but even though the blight's over we got this issue with templars and mages and there's always talk about tevinter and the imperium and shit so why did i get my star fang stone All right, time to get all it. Then now, did the wolves set these traps up? That would be pretty interesting. Don't move, Leliana. No, I don't want to talk to you right now. Next oh yeah, actually, that's one thing you can do with Leliana. Is every time you go to a new place, you can you can ask her about it. And she'll be like, either usually she says she's never been there before. So it's not really like you're. Unlocking any kind of dialogue. Then why do you keep asking her? Yeah, most RPGs, you have high-level max outs. This one is like 30, if even that much. I don't know. Oh, really? Wolves in this area. Thank you. Thank you for warning me after I'm leaving. Very, very advantageous timing. All right. Back to Ostagar. Yeah, this part can be a little bit of a nuisance. I would suggest if you're going to do it your way to save this one for after you get win if you don't want to lose favor with Morgan because Morgan does not like what I'm about to do. Uh, is it Morgan? No, I think actually it's Shell. Okay, never mind what I was just saying. Oh yeah, I can't level up. Yeah. Like I said, in Dragon Age 2, when you're a rogue, you can do that, that stealth, that, that cloak uh, rear attack, where you just kind of pop, pop up behind the, the enemy. Uh, let's level you up. This dog it doesn't do anything, but <laughs> levels up all the time. Oshtika. King Kalen's armor and shit's pretty, pretty fucking high-powered, man. Pile of sex, pile of sex. Did you leave behind a pile of sex? This is a nice gift for Alistair somewhere in this. Our, yeah. Oh yeah, over here. As you Herlock. The Herlocker. If you're a game and uh, game stop member. Like I am, you would uh, know that they did a an article this past month of uh, about Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, and I never actually played that game. I hate this fucking hex. 
Just keeps slowly dwindling your life away. Uh, can you stop now? Nope, I'm dead. There we are. Come on. Now I gotta fucking use one of my one of my lesser injury kits. Yeah, that's it. Off to go. But there was an article about Dungeons and Dragons joining Chalice. We give that to Alistair. And how it pretty much like changed the world or whatever. Oh. What this thing has is basically every time you fight a one of these bosses you can get Kalen's shit. And once you get off Kalen's shit then you're done. And you also have to get uh documents about the Orlesians helping you. Because apparently we want Orlesians helping us. And that's therein lies the rift. See, because Logain fought hard to keep the Orlesians out. And Kalen was thinking of getting the Orlesians involved because he thought the Blight was going to be a problem. Well, actually, he didn't think the Blight was going to be a problem, but he was threatening to get the Orlesians involved. And as I've said before, the Orlesians were... The Orlesians enslaved Ferelden for like a hundred years or something. And like, as I said also before, I have no idea why, because all they do is complain about wines and cheeses and shit. Okay, oh, more Darkspawn. What a shot. How about those clowns in the office? What a bunch of clowns. I'm gonna kick you right in your ass. You gotta see the alphas in fucking Dragon Age 2, they're like maniacs. Oh, there we are, I went up a level. Come back here, little bastard. You have two hands, you know. Okay. Let's level up. Alright. Dexterity, cunning, cunning. Where are we going next? Well, let's do one of these. Let's go with this one. All right. Now, I always wondered that. I always wondered how two of my party members could be two levels behind me. I remember when I used to play Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy, the first Final Fantasy. Whenever one of your party members fell in battle, they didn't get any experience points after defeating the enemies and that used to really piss me off because I wanted to make sure that every character in my game in that playthrough had was, was on the same level I don't know why but I just felt like I had to have him on the same level so if you got like 250 experience points from defeating enemies and like you had a party of the fighter the thief the white mage and the black mage and the black mage fell the black mage wouldn't get those 200 points and if it was a matter of getting 200 points would get you to the next level the black mage would be a level behind now considering you had to buy all your spells and shit you couldn't learn them really shouldn't have meant any, anything at all but for whatever reason I always used to bother me I always liked when they were on the same level then, uh, like, then when I played Final Fantasy 2 or 4, you know, however you want to look at it, and they were all on different levels and shit, I was like, ah, oh, okay, I can just got over it. Okay, why is there, like, a bunch of things attacking me? Shouldn't that be why I have a tank so that they don't attack me? I wear lights and vanguards. Bright Wolf Whedon. No, I don't want the garnet. I want this. Kalen shield. Kalen shield. Kalen shield. Kalen shield. 
Oh, look at all the dead dogs. You killed my dog. It sucks. That's right, I got Marek's Blade and Secret Correspondence. Now I have to get... No, I already have them. Alright. So I don't have to look for anything. There's some more stuff. And then we're going to find the little fucker. That bothers you and you have to drop down into a bottomless pit. The pit of despair. Don't even think... <laughs> don't even think about trying to escape. Okay. Oh, no, no, stop the rogue. What are you nuts? The rogue stuns you. In Soviet Union, the view watches you. Let's go over here. Well, big news in uh, sports, apparently. The New York Knicks have been able to <laughs> fool. Um, Phil Jackson into being the president of their operations. And I don't mean president of operations like, you know, they, they when they perform some kind of knee surgery, he's got to watch over or something. I mean, oh, I can actually, oh, 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 oh okay, so let's, uh, but I want the, I went to the, the knife, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I want, yeah, 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 yeah. Some guys just can't take a team, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were able to convince, wink, Phil Jackson to take part in the Knicks operations. Well, they're the same boots, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're not the same boots. In which case, the... Which case the Knicks now have Phil Jackson running the show, more or less, in theory. But as Homer Simpson said, in theory, communism works. So the Knicks apparently have made a huge move in getting Phil Jackson to act as their president of operations. Now, I've been a Knicks fan for most of my life. And I know uh, there are mo there are many of you, if any of you that are watching, there are many of you that would I should have been paying attention instead of looking at I don't even know what I was looking at, but uh, <clears throat> there are many of you that really don't give a rat's ass about the New York Knicks. But upon saying that, uh, I've been a Knicks fan for many many years, and I went through the Patrick Ewing era, which was terribly disappointing. It was painful. It was heartbreaking. They only had one real chance, real legit chance, to win a championship when Jordan retired. And it blew up in their faces when Pat Riley could not understand that John Stark simply was not hitting the ridiculous shots he continued to take. Now, considering they got there because of a favorable call, as well as... Uh, Hubert, the hell was his name? Anyway, th that guy, his ability to hit free throws, Hubert Davis, his ability to hit free throws, it was kind of idiotic to not play Hubert Davis as much as possible, especially since Vernon Wells was dropping shots all over John Starks' face. So... Let's see what you know of this place. 
with your cloister. Come on, somebody give me some armor. Let's get rid of that thing. So, like, I watched that debacle and it, it killed me. And, you know, there's a time when I was a really big, like, really, really big obsessive Nick fan. And that was back when I thought sports was real and stuff like that. And kind of like politics, it's all a game. But I was really heartbroken and I really wanted to see Ewing win a championship. And it, 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 it sickens me that the New York Knicks can't find anything for Ewing to do. But they have Allen Houston and John Starks as representatives. Something's wrong with that. Any hoot, I was always upset the Knicks never won a championship with Patrick Ewing. And ever since Patrick Ewing got traded, he proved to all these idiotic, I mean, I'm sorry, idiotic Nick fans that kept blowing out air from their ass talking about how he never won a championship. It showed that the Knicks were in dire straits had they not had Ewing because ever since they got rid of Ewing, they have sucked ass. And one of the great moves that they made, it's famous, it's a famous move. They drafted a guy, a 7-2 dish rag, known as Frederick Weiss, a German that was born and raised in France that played for the French national team, who did nothing but got dogged. They drafted him instead of Ron Artest, otherwise known as Meta World Peace. And it was such an embarrassment. It was such a stupid ass move. I like when my friend said, yeah, but Ron Artest wasn't ready. He wouldn't have been able to handle New York. And I said, but wait a minute, Ron Artest got into one of the biggest brawls in the history of the NBA. He was suspended for almost a year. He had to go see psycho psych psychotherapy. And on top of that, now calls himself Meta World Peace. I think he would have been okay playing for the Knicks when he was a kid. Just saying. I don't think it would have been any worse than what it became. So, I mean, I just felt like it was Homer's cousin, Mama Shabude, or whatever. Mama, Mama Shababu, that's what it was. Wow, this mage just really made my life miserable, didn't he? The skeleton mage. Not even a real mage, it's a skeleton mage. So now the Knicks, after having Isaiah Thomas run things, the Knicks now want Phil Jackson to run things, and Phil Jackson has never run things before, but he still has a better track record than Isaiah Thomas ever did. So, with all that being said, am I excited? Maybe. But oh, chainmail, 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 chainmail. You're putting on that chainmail. Ah, oh, shit. No. Oh, yeah. That's it. All right. Let me see. Is it better than what I'm wearing? A lot better than one. Okay, so let's change. Uh, fuck it. Let's just go. So yeah, Nick fans. I mean, I'm sure Nick fans are exploding with happiness just because Phil Jackson's actually on the Knicks. And I know if this deal does go through, which they say it's already done the first game that he shows up, it's going to be like, you know, a, a friggin' 1972, 1969 screw fest. You know, it's going to be a big deal, but we'll see what happens. I have yet to be pleasantly surprised by the Knicks and any moves that they make. Actually, I was being pleasantly surprised when it seemed as though the Knicks were going to be able to get their own big three and it kind of fell through. And their big three became Carmelo Anthony, uh, Mari Stoudemire, who's dead, and Tyson Chandler, who nobody cares 
about at all in any fa form or fashion. But, you know, look, I'm, j I'm just tired of, I'm tired of the mirage. I'm tired of that 158 win season that gets them into the playoffs and makes people think, hey, that means that they can win. And it, you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean squat. And if they, they do beat the Heat four out of seven times in the last couple of years, it's because the Heat suck ass. Even though they have the so-called best player in the universe and other all-stars and superstars around him, they still suck ass. So, whatever. I don't pay attention to that kind of crap. What I pay attention to is disarming traps. Well, I can make Leliana do it, but whatever. She finally just got decent armor, so I'm not going to go nuts. Now, Dragon Age 2, they kind of stupefy it. Actually, I should, should say make it stupid. Josh! Where your, your party members can't equip armor or anything. They have their own armor. It never gets changed. And all you can do with it is upgrade it throughout the course of the game. So we're moving along here, moving along in Oshtaka. And then after this, we're going to go to the Circle of the Magi. And I guarantee you, I will not be able to finish that mission within an hour. I guarantee, guarantee that it's not going to be finished within an hour. That's a fact, Jack. At least they gave me a marker I can follow. But where am I following it to? No, I'm not going to the world map yet. I want that. And I want that. Give me. All right. Well, we gotta go up this way, huh? Slide way. Well, I was talking about Dungeons and Dragons, and the reason why I bring up Dungeons and Dragons is because one of the greatest retarded animal babies of all time, if not the greatest of all time, was the one about Dungeons and Dragons, and it was a, like, it was like a 20-minute flash cartoon about Dungeons and Dragons, and just so you know, it ends up with. A cat telling another cat that he is the offspring of a donkey and a prostitute. Okay, just think about that for fun. Five seconds. I'm giving you five seconds to think about that. Oh, I cut that one close, didn't I? And of course, it ended with the donkey going, Hello, son. Couldn't find a rusty coat hanger in her basement either, eh? Because <laughs> apparently that donkey was Canadian even though the donkey was supposed to be a baby like the other babies in the RAB crew apparently that donkey with the Canadian accent suddenly was the father of the cat but the Dungeons and Dragons episode was phenomenal they kind of combined it with that 70s show, although I never really watched that 70s show. I do remember they tried to make it that 80s show, which completely bombed and failed. Cool. Yeah, the, uh, people have to understand something. When it, like, I, I know that Hollywood and television and stuff like that, they go for the quickest, easiest dollar bill because they're lazy, they're uninventive, uninventive and on top of all that, they're completely useless. Which is why they do reality TV, which is on really a unscripted TV, which is basically a producer going, all right, so today we want to see some more drama. So what do you say you two beat each other up for no reason, and then you two over there smack each other in the face? You know, like, it, it's really not, it's, it's unscripted, but it's not reality. It's not really what's going on, but whatever. What, sometimes you have a show like The Simpsons, like, in a, I guess, a lesser, lesser extent, that 70s show, or pretty much every show that I watched growing up, 
where the writers, the producers, the actors, it all sort of comes together. And it can't be redone. It can't be forced. It happens. Chemistry, uh, you know, uh, hidden talents, Michael J. Fox and Family Ties. You know, most of the young women that played the young women in um, Facts of Life, you know, they just these things just sort of come together and you can't redo that although some of these producers feel like well the idea was because you know the idea was great and we just make another idea kind of like it and it'll get people to watch and maybe they will watch but if the show sucks they're going to stop watching and that's the that's the key so people used to always go on about how great that 70s show was because of uh because of option C, which was the, see, we're going back to the Tower of Ishal, which was the 70s references. So they tried to show that was about 80s references, and it simply did not work. So I do basically a point of damage every minute, uh, or every, yeah. Hey, see this fuck? He really is annoying. So that's my lecture about television shows. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And in this day and age, most times they don't. Oh, that, I have to, my friends are all into like this, this, was it, Walking Dead show. Oh, Walking Dead season one of them. The only show I was watching was the Clone Wars show. And I totally lost track of it. And I'm so pissed at myself. I wanted to see what the hell was going on. Let's make this quick. And I just totally lost track. I, just, I could not find it on TV. I couldn't find it on the Cartoon Network. It used to be ready. For every Friday night, I used to be ready. And they had Wonderful. the season before, like I think it was season four or something I was on to, ended. And it was supposed to be like 2012 in September or some shit. That's how long ago it was. They were supposed to be starting this, the fall season. Or 2011 even. And they never did. Or I never found it. And I was so angry. Because I just lost track. I mean, I, I'm hoping I can, without having to buy all the seasons, just find some way I can watch them. Because I thought the Clone Wars were so great. Just filled in so many blanks. But an old friend of my, my CD Bookman channel... His name is Curvos. He did a review on the top five things you know, that he, he didn't like about the more recent season. And uh, I read up on some of them and I don't know. I don't know. I can't comment because I didn't watch. We're filth. We're filth. We come from filth. We're going to filth. We're filth. My old YouTube friend, Curvos, has some pretty intense opinions of me, especially when it comes to my opinions of Man of Steel with bows of steel. And I do want to apologize if I offended anyone well, if it's Barricade, why do you have it there? If I offend anyone on my views of that movie, the fact of the matter is the movie was horrifically done, terribly written, and was supposed to be about an icon or a hero that they turned into a uh, total fraud. So if you like that, if you like that human ver version of a superhuman that's not from Earth and shouldn't be thought of as a human anyway, hey, God bless you. I thought it was an embarrassment. <laughs> thought it was. And considering we don't have really any good... Look, I'm going to put it like to, to like this, okay? There's a, lot, a huge difference between DC and Marvel. And one is that Marvel's good, DC sucks. But aside from DC having the obvious, which is Batman... The, the Superman's good. Flash is... Eh, Wonder Woman's just Wonder Woman. All the super spin-offs like Superboy and what have you you know like 
It's just whatever, man. It's like the big problem with Superman, and I get it, is that there's not one charismatic, discernible villain. There's not one real Joker. There's not one real even Penguin or whatever. Like, there's not one... Re- See, the, the way Marvel does it is, aside from, like, really incredibly deep and deep-rooted and seemingly endless backstory, it's like, okay, so Spider-Man is really, really intelligent, has some great superpowers, but there's a lizard who's even more intelligent and has even more superpowers. Like, you know, there's always somebody that's better than you. Or in the case of Venom or Carnage, where they just have more power. Yeah, there's always somebody better, and the the hero is then left with the dilemma of having to find a way up to rise above all that. You know, Batman <clears throat> is pretty evenly matched, but although Batman could, you know, beat up on Joker and whatever, Joker doesn't really care for pain. <clears throat> he just <clears throat> laughs it off. Damn, I'm phlegmy as hell today. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> The, mm, pardon me. So, um, you know, so Marvel always has, um, so like even though you have these uh, mutants <clears throat> and X-Men and the juggernaut bitch is, uh, is birthed in magical power, so it's beyond mutant ability, <clears throat> you then also have, are you using a sword? I thought I gave you a crossbow. You then also have aliens from other planets that are even more powerful than him, like Gladiator, who just simply tossed the juggernaut bitch across the ocean, you know, so, like, there's always, like, somebody more powerful than that which you think is powerful in the Marvel comics, that's one of the reasons why the Marvel comics is so much better, because it has so many great heroes with so many great villains and whatever. Now, I can understand that Superman doesn't really have a discernible villain because nobody wants to watch trust me I know Superman I know Superman really well you don't want to watch a movie with Darkseid okay you just don't I'm, I'm sorry you just you don't and I understand that you don't want to see Darkseid in Darkseid is kind of like Thanos just he doesn't shut the fuck up so like Darkseid basically like he'll spend if you ever hear people joke about villains monologuing, that's Darkseid. That's all he does is monologue, and he doesn't stop. Brainiac, even if Brainiac is a, is a hot villain in terms of what he can do and what he can accomplish and everything, and it is. It is pretty severe. Uh, Brainiac, you can't have a villain named Brainiac. I'm sorry. Brainiac, really? That's your villain name, Brainiac. Might as well call him something like Mr. Smarty Pants, which is the tick, okay? You don't want a Mr. Smarty Pants in Superman. But the whole point that I'm trying to make is that, let's go down here with this. Let's see. So this is Force Field, Crossing Line, blah, 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 blah. You want it, you want Authropy. You want that. So let's go to... Affliction hacks, death magic. Let's do death magic. Death magic is pretty hot. Authropy is not clearly defined until Dragon Age 2, but whatever. We're not going to get into that. <clears throat> okay, maybe I can clear my throat one of these days. So really, to me, the only... I mean, you, you got Lex Luthor, but Lex Luthor can't match unless you want him to have that ridiculous nano suit of his, that robotic suit of his he can only like plot out shit and i get that in the movies they were pretty much bored of lex luthor because of superman's one two three and four (laughs) in one way or another involving lex luthor but real that really gives superman only one true villain that can beat superman without that cheesy kryptonite shit and that's that's Doomsday. And Doomsday is an awesome villain. Just an awesome villain. But considering one of the most monumental histories, one of the most monumental storylines in the history of comic books involved Doomsday killing Superman, basically you can't just start with Doomsday because that's kind of like 
starting a movie with an explosion and a bunch of explosions and then even more explosions. Oh, wait, that's how they started Man of Steel. So I can't, tell, I can't say, well, you should just start with Doomsday because you've got to build up to Doomsday. But really that leaves you one question. Who the hell do you start with? <laughs> I, I think that the, the best choice would be to, to start... You can get that thing off me now. Anytime you're ready. Nope, okay. Thanks a lot, folks. Oh, my doggy went up. You see, that's what I'm talking about. What, when can, how can I bring back to life my character? I don't have a potion that does it that I know of. Time to kill that shambling corpse. So, I, again, that leaves you with a dilemma. Now, who does everyone know? Well, everyone knows Zod because of, you know, Terrence Stamp and his... You know, everyone knows about that. But, really, Zod was not a major player in the comic book. He just he wasn't. And Ursa and Nan really didn't get introduced until after the movie, Superman 2. So... Superman 2 was basically what made Zod such a popular figure, and he's just, he's not. And I don't even know if Zod still even exists. <laughs> so it's like, but if you ask me, like, people were like, well, you had to start with Zod. I don't think so, because the Zod things played out. The reason why they started with Zod is because, you know, because of Smallville, and that's the thing that I, I thought of. When I watched the trailers, I was like, oh, this is like a small, smallville ripoff, this movie. But I went to see it anyway, you know, just in case. You never know. And uh, I was uh, greatly disappointed. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I wanted to say. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Olaf. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's Matt. <sighs> yeah, I want that. No. 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 Yeah. Okay. What about uh, the other Duncan sword? I can't use that. Okay. So, I mean, like I said, you know, that's that's my opinion, but that that's the fault of DC that they don't give you a good. Now, again, Hollywood pours everything out anyway, but that's DC's fault that they don't give Superman good villains. And I'm sure if you read, like, I don't really read Superman. I know of Superman and stuff, but I'm sure if you read it, there's a few villains better and all that junk. But in terms of what everyone knows everyone knows doomsday because doomsday killed superman i mean what about cyborg you can probably come up with something like that they had something like that or something like brainiac in that superman 3 movie that scared the shit out of me when i was a kid and came out so who knows i mean i, I don't know all i know is i have no interest in seeing that second superman movie no thank you Yeah, look at that. We were done with this pretty quick. Which is good, because now we have to go to the Circle of the Magi, and that takes forever. Yeah. Return to the king. Would have been nice if you gave him back his armor and stuff. No, no, we're going to keep it. His mother would ask if he had on clean underwear that day. See anyone like this. this is what matters to so many? The we can always have Leliana, Jack.
Morgan disprove that? She might. Yep. Leliana Likey. Morgan no like it. Like my god child says, I don't like it. Oh yeah, boy, come over here now. You come over here now. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't pay. loot that w bloody wolf. Well, let's return to camp. If I can find my way out. Yeah, this will take up the rest of the time that I have for the first part. How the hell do I get out of here again? I always do this. I always do this. I always forget my way out. Up, oh, it's right there. See, wasn't that hard at all. Back to camp to reflect on what we've just done. Camp, thank you. What party camp? So now that I'm back at camp, I am going to pause for just a moment. And then we're going to continue from where we left off. Okay, okay.